tu 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 alaba shot aliba so kariana hundanga anybody there ready to pray for their children why don't you begin to bless the name of the lord give him glory give him glory masendere basike ke mekalika shandari akosa kalabado sakarianova I just feel like reminding you to remind others to join. This is a special time in the presence of the Lord devoted for our children. Hallelujah. The Bible says that children are the heritage of the Lord. It is the fruit of the womb. It is a reward. In other words, the children belong to the Lord and the Lord lends them to us. He actually brings them to the earth through us, not to us. And so it is a privilege and, uh, and, and, uh, and an honor to handle the property of the Lord. Hallelujah. For those that are in a quiet place, can you please unmute yourself? Let's bless the Lord this morning. Who has Given us the handle his own property. Father, we bless your name, we honor you, we glorify you, we thank you, O oh God, because you are in the midst of us. We thank you, O oh God, because you are merciful. We thank you, O oh God, because you are faithful. We thank you, O oh God, because you cannot deny yourself. Hallelujah. In Dalabadosa, Kalabashi, Keribasunda, Hepre, Desokradashika. Go ahead and begin to bring your children to him. In other words, consciously present those sons and daughters to him. Consciously, consciously present your daughters to him. Consciously present your sons to him. Consciously, consciously do it consciously. Call them by name and say, in the name of Jesus, I present you to the Father. You are lent to him forever. You belong to him forever. Just as Samuel was returned to the Lord at Shiloh, I return you to the Lord by faith in this place in the name of Jesus. Nepodoko Shagania, he prayed this to do Kushkidaramado Sada, Alabrodo Gunyada Kushada. I declare that you are, oh. Vessels of the Lord. I declare that you are instruments in the hands of the Lord. In La Bote, the Kenya, Katogro, Nunga, Arato, so, 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 will love the Lord with all your heart and with all your might, with all your soul. In everything that is within you, brothers and sisters, this morning, I want you to bear Psalm 93 on your heart, and Psalm 91 on your heart, as we pray for our children today. We are praying about their overall protection. We are Praying about the protection of the Lord in their spirit, in their soul and mental realm, in their bodies. Hallelujah. And we stand upon Psalm 91. The scripture says, No evil befalls you, neither shall any place come near your dwelling. It doesn't matter where that child is, whether he's all grown and left home and is now living in a life of his own. I want Want you to begin to declare the protection of the Lord over their life. That no evil befalls you, no evil befalls your spirit, no evil befalls your soul, no evil befalls your mind, no evil befalls your body. In 
Somebody pray with me. We're praying to the spiritual protection, spiritual protection, spiritual protection of our children. The psalmist said that he that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of his, of the Almighty. Talking about their spiritual protection. The Bible says, A thousand shall fall at thy side, ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come near thee. That which is causing men and women to fall away from the faith of the Lord Jesus, that which is causing them deception, deceitfulness of riches, cares of this world, that which is causing men and women to, to make the wrong decisions. Oh, we come against it today in the name of Jesus, where our children are concerned. He said they, it will not come near them. It will not come near them. It will not come near them. All those logical uh, ex, uh, logical explanations and philosophical ideas causing men and women to walk contrary to the counsel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Religious, re, uh, wrong religious uh, 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 inclinations out there in the world that stack themselves up against our children. We raise a standard against such in the name of Jesus. Things that are that are working against the spiritual development of our children. We, we, we cause all such, all such struggles to begin to crumble crumble and disappear where our children are concerned in the name of Jesus. The Bible says in Psalm 23, he leads you beside still waters. Oh, we bring our children under the leadership of the Holy Spirit so that they will walk in the path of righteousness. Hallelujah. Speaking about the spiritual development of our children, speaking about their spiritual protection. Every voice, contrary to the voice of the Spirit of God, ideologies, philosophical ideas, we raise the standard of the blood against it. We raise the standard of the blood against it. And we say that even in their spiritual life, he gives his angels charge over them so that even in making choices of spiritual Spiritual communities, these ones are led by the Spirit of God, not into traps that look safe, but into, into spiritual communities that are safe, that are healthy in the name of Jesus. My heart goes out to those children who have been deceived by spiritual communities that, 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 that 
present themselves as, as if they are of Christ, but on the inside, they're not working for Christ. We raise the standard of the blood against every soul tie with spiritual communities that are unwholesome. Some of our children have, have, have tied themselves down to gangs, not realizing that when they started moving with those bunch of people, they will end up in a gang or even in a cult. We raise the standard of the blood. We raise the standard of the blood against every unwholesome spiritual relationship. Just going to give us one more minute. Let's lift up our voices concerning the spiritual protection of our children. Jesus died so that their spirits will be protected. Jesus died. the psalmist said the lord is my shepherd i shall not want he maketh me to lie down in green pastures he leads me beside the still waters oh the spirit of god is the shepherd of our children oh the lord jesus is the shepherd of our children through the ministry of the holy spirit and we declare that he leads them to still waters he leads them to green pastures he leads them to the right spiritual community by the spirit of god we declare that their spirit their choices in the things of the spirit they are led by the they're led by the holy spirit in the name of jesus we destroy the yokes of ungodly soul ties, unwholesome ties with spiritual communities where people who have portrayed themselves as pastors have deceived the children. We break every ungodly soul tie that has kept children away from families on the grounds of, of spiritual families. Some of them have been told that being born again means being, being, being part of a spiritual family that, that is exclusive of their physical families. And that is not true because even in the life of the Lord Jesus, he identified with his family. I want you to begin to break every hold that has kept your child away from, from full identification with the rest of his biological family, his physical family. And released our sons and our daughters represented here. We release them to a life of liberty in the spirit. The Bible says, Where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Ah, we believe God uh, for the laborers. According to Matthew chapter 9, verse 38, the laborers that Jesus said, If you ask the, 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 the Lord of the harvest, he will send. And so we ask, Father, that in the name of Jesus, you send regarding our children their individual tailor made custom made laborers the ones that you have assigned with the right words with the right scenarios to to communicate with them the counsel of the kingdom of god causing them to be fully established in the ways of 
the Lord. Hallelujah. We thank you because by the blood, our children, they are protected in their spirit, in their souls, and in their bodies. The Bible says in Jeremiah chapter 3, verse 15, says, I will give you pastors. The Lord God Almighty said he took that he would give it, give pastors. He will give you pastors, the ones that are after his own heart, the ones that will teach your children the way of the Lord, not the ones that will violate and cause them to, 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 to uh, uh, walk away from the things of God that will break their hearts, not the ones that will lure them into sin. Oh, Barata Sota, he said, I will give you pastors. Nebre Nehishada, pastors means shepherds. I will give you spiritual leadership that, that is according to God's heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. Father, we thank you. We connect with this word and we say that you are giving lead, spiritual leadership to our children, wherever they are on the face of the earth, you are giving them spiritual spiritual leadership. You are giving them spiritual communities of your own choice. In the name of Jesus, we declare silence to every contrary voice. In the name of Jesus. Hey, the Bible says no weapon fashioned against you shall prosper. Brothers and sisters, I want you to begin to pray for their physical, for their soul, the protection of their soul. We're talking about the arena of their minds. We're talking about the arena of the intellect. We're talking about the arena of their emotions, of their feelings, of their soul. This is the part of them that connects their spirit with the physical world. Sometimes that arena is being afflicted by all kinds of things, including sicknesses. Uh, today we lift up the power of the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. We lift up the power of the blood of Jesus in the favor of every child represented here that their soul will be fully protected. We come against the negative influence of the information age that has come to, 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 to overload, overburden the souls and the minds of our children. We stand here as watchmen over the city of their souls. And we raise a prayer cry and we declare in the name of Jesus, oh, that all that is speaking contrary to the voice of the Spirit of God, all that is speaking, oh, promoting the, the spiritualities of the world that are speaking that are contrary to the Christ, how we command that all such voices, that they come to zero. We mute the voice of religiosity. Speaking contrary to the counsel of God. We mute the voice of the new age. We mute the voice of all the, of all the, 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 the the spiritualities out there that are that, that are being fed to our children through social media, through the internet. Lubra daseke make it to come here, and we mount a, a barricade against all the in, the intrusion of of the information age, contrary to the to the counsel of God. Libro doseke keke namuna. Some of our children have not left the house, but their minds have been badly bombarded, I want you to begin to raise the defense of the Lord around their minds, around their thoughts. Raise that defense system as we pray in the spirit. We say in the name of Jesus, we raise a defense system to, 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 come, to, 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 to protect our children's mind, protect their, their, their soul, protect their emotions, protect their feelings, protect their intellect in the 
name of Jesus. Call on mute yourself. Pray with me, somebody over the soul, over the and I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence, the snare of the fowler that has been ganged, that has ganged up against our children via the information age, via information, via media, via entertainment. Oh, Rabada Sota, the snare of the fowler, the noisome pestilence. Oh, the thing that is the in thing in town. Oh, it is it, trending, but it's not trending for God. Bible says, because it's not from God, they must fall for our sake. And so that which is trending on social media, that which is trending on, on the internet, that which is trending out there in the media, that is such, such that is speaking contrary to the counsel of God. Today, we pull them down from their high horses. And we say, not in the lives of our children in the name of Jesus. The Bible says they shall be delivered from all of the snares of the enemy. They shall be delivered from the noisome pestilence because verse 4 says he will cover thee with his feathers. Our Lord, we thank you because you cover our children with your feathers and under your wings they shall trust. They will not trust in the systems of the world. They will not trust in what their eyes can see or what their hands can touch, but they will trust in the living God. Hallelujah. Or meet yourself one more minute. Let's pray. Judah Kasada over the mental protection, solely protection, protection of their soul, protection of their feelings, protection of their thoughts. The Bible says, guard your heart. Because out of your heart are the issues of life. And so is the part of the core of their being, the core of their being inside the heart. That soul is the part of that core. Sharia, <laughs> <laughs> 
Keep praying into the protection of the soul of your children. The soul is the seat of the mind, is the soul of the emotions, is the seat of the will, is the seat of the intellect. And so as we're making prayers for uh, to protect that arena, we are saying, Lord, that the, the protection of the Holy Spirit, the protection of the Lord, barricade all in, invasions, working against the mind, working against feelings, working against the will, working against emotions. Uh, we barricade all arrows. And I know that Psalm 91 continues to say, no, that thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, Lord, for the arrow that flies by day. There are arrows flying by day. There are terrors by night. Some of our children are dealing with anxiety. Some of them are dealing with, with, um, with, with, with uh, uncertainties about their future. I want you to begin to believe God that there'll be an invasion of the spirit of God to mop up and bring them into a place of, of mental stability, of soulish stability, of, of, of emotional stability in the name of Jesus. This is the era where a lot of children are dealing with mental breakdown. A lot of children are dealing with depression. This is of the, of the enemy. And so we come against it. All the arrows that fly by day, all the, all the destruction that wastes at noonday, all the pestilence that walks in darkness. Children have been, have been known to just be minding their own business and all of a sudden their minds are just playing, playing tricks on them. I want you to believe God that concerning the children that you are standing in for, oh, the, the word of the Lord for their lives. The Bible says he has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love yeah. and of a sound mind. Yeah. Begin to proclaim a sound mind into that child. Call them by name. I say you have a sound mind, not because of your feelings, but because the word of God says so. Unmute yourself and begin to pray into the soundness of their mind, into the soundness of their mind, ability to make the right decision under the leading of the Holy Spirit. Sound mind, sound mind, sound mind. Sound mind. That's why the psalmist said, oh, you, that, because you have set your love upon me, I will deliver you. Oh, Lapa, that's so for me, Hedelia, begin to speak into every, every child that you represent and say, soundness of mind, soundness of mind, I crush the spirit of fear and anxiety. A lot of children are dealing with fear and anxiety. They may not tell you as parents, but they are dealing with this. In fact, sometimes they don't understand what they're dealing with. I want you to proclaim freedom from anxiety, freedom from worry, freedom from fear, freedom from depression. In the name of Jesus, by the power of the blood of Jesus, I proclaim freedom from anxiety, worries, and depression of any kind, of, 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 of any origin. In the name of Jesus, are you with me, church? 
it shall not come near you worry anxiety depression oh mental breakdown we declare it shall not come near any child represented here oh Ramada emotional emotional weakness emotional weakness we exchange you for emotional strength some of them have experienced heartbreaks and all those kind of things come to that in the extended session but let's begin to believe God for the protection of their mind, of their soul, of their will, of their intellect. In the name of Jesus, to keep in all your ways. And we say the journey in the soulish realm of our children that the angels of God keep them in their ways. Libro Right there, still in their soulish realm, is the intellectual realm, the faculty they use for academic excellence. I want us to begin to believe God, Soto, Kenya, that the Spirit of God that raised Jesus from the dead will quicken their intellect. Hallelujah. Quicken the intellect of our sons and our daughters according to the word of the Lord. The Bible says, if the same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, Romans 8 11, he says that same spirit will give life. It will bring about resurrection life into every fiber of your being. How we bring that re resurrection life to quicken the intellect of our children so that in their academic and intellectual endeavors, they come out with flying colors. Libro doso kariadasa, even as we are in the season of exam, and the spirit of God, who give them of quick understanding, quick understanding. Libro doso to prakashigeria, Rato Sodo. I don't know if your children are preparing for exams in any way, but I think a lot of children are preparing for exams, whether it's just to move from one class to the other or, or for graduation or move from one area of, uh, of, 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 of um, academics to another. I want you to begin to believe God, that the Lord God, our Father, who gave wisdom to Daniel, gave wisdom to the Lord Jesus, that that same God is at work in your child, in their intellectual endeavors, in their academic endeavors, granting them the wisdom that is relevant for the hour in the name of Jesus. Jesus said when the Holy Spirit comes, he will remind you. And so when it comes to exams, that our, our children will be under the influence of the Holy Spirit, bringing information to their remembrance. We're speaking to all of their, we're speaking to their mental capacity and we command it to be stretched, to be elastic, in Laboria da Sota, able to receive comfortably, able to, to retain comfortably, able to reproduce knowledge upon demand, such that attracts high flyer grades in the name of Jesus. Oh, say with me, somebody that that child, you have a sound mind, and I declare that your your your, your mental capacity is able to receive knowledge, is able to retain knowledge, and it's able to reproduce produce that same knowledge upon demand in the way that it attracts high flyer grades in the name of Jesus. High flyer grades. We stand as intercessors to make way for our children for the top, hallelujah. And we decree high flyer grades. Because you have the mind of Christ, we decree that your, 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 the mind of Christ influences your intellect in such a way that you attract high flyer grades in the name of Jesus. Someone says, what happens to our children who are, are dealing with, uh, 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 who are dealing with 
physical disabilities or mental disabilities, and we are that we stand in the gap for every child for their advancement, for their progress. In the name of Jesus, we speak the healing power of God into every form of every child dealing with the learning disability of any kind. In the Brodo Sakalabashika, we call for backup, we call for resources, we call for all that is needed to bring these children even to where they ought to be in the name of Jesus. In the academic journey of all of our children, we call for a release of heavenly resources, the right tutors, the right textbooks, the right study communities, the right tutorials, the right communities that enable and enhance the, the, the development of their mental capacity. In the name of Jesus, we speak into every child. We say you have mental togetherness, superlative comprehension. In the name of Jesus, you arise, oh, with the wisdom of God that is that, that, is, uh, uh, that is available to you by the Spirit of God. You arise with that Spirit and you, you scale through all your exams, all your, all your study life in the name of Jesus. And we call for the favor of God <laughs> because somebody called Esther. She had prepared so well. She, she was prepared, but there were other people that were prepared, but the favor of God took her above. And so concerning every child as they sit exams, as they, as they begin, as they advance in their intellectual endeavors, maybe they are, they are awaiting promotions at work, maybe they are awaiting selection process, maybe, maybe in whatever way that our children are involved with in their, in their intellectual and academic endeavors, that the spirit of favor who surround them as a shield according to psalm 5 verse 12 says that O lord will bless the righteous with favor you surround him as shield we surround our children with favor he divine favor the one that gives them preferential treatment the one that serves them even, even when it looks like things are not going to go around we decree in the name of jesus the favor of god working for our graduating students students at my heart goes out to those that are graduating this year, the Ekore Badassa Kariada graduating from university, graduating from second primary school, graduating from secondary school, those that are, are at a milestone in, in their in their endeavors. Today, we are standing the gap for all such children represented here. And just like Aaron and her were, were, were helped by, by um, just like Moses were helped by Aaron and her, his hands were lifted by Aaron and her. Here, we lift up your hands hands as your mothers, as your fathers, as your aunties, as your uncles. We lift up your hands that until that, that, that war ends in your favor, you continue to stand. You continue to stand. We call for all the resources and the help that you need as you prepare. In the name of Jesus, why don't you thank the Lord with me for these children as we come to a quick break so that we'll come straight back, hallelujah, and take one more prayer point thank the lord thank the lord with me just just a few few seconds thank the lord with me laboria da so kariada she to 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 me had a every day so korea and he's under the get to me Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We honor you. We bless you. We glorify you. We give you the praise. We give you the honor. Blessed be your holy name now and forever. In Jesus' precious name. Amen and amen and amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Somebody, we thank the Lord, the God that protects our children, spirit, soul, and body in the name of Jesus. Thank you so much for joining. I'm just going to hand you to an announcer, take a few announcements, and we'll be right back to finish off what we started. Just remember that you need to stay behind if you have to for extend uh, for reset my seed extended. We're going to be praying about godly love, life, and marriage for our children. That starts at 8 a.m. prompt to 8:30 UK time. Amen. Over to you, announcer. 
Thank you very much, Pastor Agatha, and thank you everyone for joining today and taking the time to stand in the place of prayer for your children and all the children that are in your care. Uh, if you'd like to connect with our ministry, you can uh, go to our YouTube channel. It's called Prayer Bootcamp for All Nations. If you click on it and click on playlists, you'll find the list of recordings for all of our meetings nicely categorized. You can pray along with these recordings. You can share them with your loved ones. And we'd like to ask that you kindly subscribe to our channel and we, you kindly like the recordings. Thank you. You can also connect with us by sending us emails at prayerbootcamp at oasisfoundation.org.uk. Uh, uh, you can send us your prayer requests, your feedback, as well as your testimonies. We'll be taking communion at the end of this meeting, so please take a moment to grab your communion emblems. Thank you. As Pastor Agatha mentioned, we have a new prayer initiative that is starting today um, at 8 a.m. right after this meeting. It's called Reset My Seed Extended. It's a monthly prayer meeting, so it's just once a month, the second Saturday of the month for, for the rest of this year. And we will pray for our children, but we focus on one topic only for 30 minutes. And the topic for today is the godly love life, uh, godly love life and spouses for our children. So if that is something of, that is of interest to you, please stay behind, uh, please invite your loved ones. Thank you. We're also introducing another new prayer initiative this uh, this week, this uh, rather next week. It's called Stronger and Better Marriages. It's once a month on the third Wednesday of the month at 7.30 to 8.30 p.m. UK time. It's the same Zoom link and the, uh, and the Zoom details are on your screen. So that's starting Wednesday, May the 18th. Thank you. Pray with me, somebody. Our weekend telephone line is on from 2 p.m. to 12 midnight UK time on Saturdays and Sundays. The telephone number is on your screen. If you need somebody to agree with you in prayer according to the word of God over an issue, if you have any emergency situation, please dial into the dial this number and somebody will be on hand to pray along with you. Thank you. Please take a photo or screenshot of this telephone number if you need it. Our next encounter night is on, the, is on Sunday, the 5th of June, 9.30 to 11.30 p.m. UK time. Same Zoom details as this meeting. This is the time, this is the only meeting we have where we actually pray for ourselves and no one else. We focus on your needs, your walk with God, your love, your spiritual life, your relationships, your family, your health, your job, career, professional elevation, and your finances. So our next reset meeting is on Saturday, the 21st of May, and we then switch to the late hour time, which is 11 p.m. UK and Nigeria time. So please note, next reset my, my seat is at 11 p.m. UK time next week. And with that, we will uh, we'll go to testimonies. I want to take a moment to thank those of you who send us your testimonies, and we appreciate the time you take to do that. And we read them out anonymously in this prayer meeting to give glory to God, to inspire the faith of others and to encourage the brethren. And just before I read today's testimony, I would just like to ask that if you would like to connect with our ministry, and if you would like to receive our weekly reminders of meetings, please take a moment to post your email address in the chat panel now. You can send it in the general chat or you can send it to any of the co-hosts privately, um, and, and, the, and then you can receive our weekly reminders and you probably don't have to rely on friends to remind you. Thank you. So with that, I will go ahead and read today's praise report. And I'll just take a moment to, to bring it up. Okay, and it goes as follows. Praise the Lord. I would like to thank the Lord for his mercies and his goodness over our daughter, whom he gave a wonderful job in a bank after a few months of waiting. During the lockdown in 2020, it was very tricky and challenging to get a job. She managed to get a job in 2020, but because of certain political situations at her place of employment, after a first phase, her job was not renewed. She's a new graduate. She was told to hold on and she would be contacted soon and offered a new role. But months went by and no one contacted her. I did not enjoy seeing her feeling undervalued. She wasn't contributing anything to society. I was really concerned, so I started praying about it. Then one day I attended an event and I met someone that God put me in touch with. A few months later, God ministered to my daughter and I separately to reach out to this person about any possible job openings at her place of employment. 
God opened up doors of opportunity for my daughter. She submitted her CV, went through a tough selection process, a tough test and panel interview, which she passed with flying colors. And she was eventually offered a job in a bank. She now feels fulfilled and she will continue at this job until she leaves to start her master's degree in a few months. I just want to give God the glory. Many times when it seemed so challenging, I told her not to worry. I said, even if those guys don't call you, God will give you an alternative. Our God is a God of a first chance, a second chance, and a third chance, and he will always come to your rescue. God has come through for her, and we are glad. Amen. Hallelujah. Over to you, Pastor Agatha. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Somebody praise the Lord with that family, Hallelujah. because their victory yeah. is our victory. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. 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 One part rejoices, everyone yeah. rejoices. And we said that there will be continual shouts of joy in the tabernacle of the righteous. In Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah. Father, we're grateful yeah. because you have yeah. done it again. The God of the selection process has gone ahead of us, made room for that child, and you're making room for all of our children in Jesus' name. Amen. I'm sure you know that it's not an easy thing to live under the same roof with a young adult who's finished school, wants to work, and is not able to find a job. And so we want to rejoice with that family because indeed God has delivered you. Hallelujah. You know, this, this, the psalmist said that, blessed be the Lord who does marvelous kindness in a strong city. You know, in other in that city, in that in that situation, it it is considered a difficult thing. But God has done marvelous kindness. Hallelujah! Is this same God that we bring the rest of the evening to the rest of our morning prayer to? Is we just got a few more minutes to pray over the protection of the bodies of our children? Hallelujah! I want to read to you from Exodus chapter twenty. 23 verse 25. It says, You shall serve the Lord your God, and he shall bless thy bread and the and thy water, and will take sickness away from the midst of thee. There, there shall not there, there shall nothing cast their young, nor be barren in the land. The number of thy days I will fulfill. Hallelujah. This is how God sees his children. I mean, that's I was that's reading from the old testament. How much more us in the new, whom the blood of Jesus has been shed for. And so when it comes to the protection of the bodies of our children, we know that the scriptures cannot be broken. Jesus, who his own self, bore our sins in his own body. Oh, hallelujah. I like the fact that Jesus gave up his body so that your children's body will be intact. His body was broken and battered so that your own children's body will be intact. And according to 2 Peter 2 24, he himself bore our sins in his own body on the tree, hallelujah, so that we might be. be so that we being dead to sin might be alive to God, who by whose stripes ye were healed. And so we come upon the author, we come with the authority of the word of God, and we stand against sickness and disease. We stand against any form of breakdown of the body. Sickness is a violation of the body. It is a breakdown of the body. It's a breakdown of the of the mental health of 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 of, our, of any life. And so we stand against because it is speaking against God. We stand against this, this, this morning and we speak against it. And we say that according to the word of the Lord. No, he says that will, I will take away sickness from the midst of me. And we know he did it by going by, by telling us in Isaiah 53 that he took our infirmities, bore our sicknesses. He, he, was, he was bruised for our transgression. He was wounded for our transgression. He, he was the chastisement of, of our peace was upon him. And we with his stripes, we were healed. Oh, Laban de Sekenia Haza, we raised the standard of the word of God, the finished work of Calvary. We raised that standard against every form of sickness, disease, or infirmity, known or unknown, diagnosed or not, whether it, they call it term, terminal or, or it, it is temporary, whatever it is, is a violation of the, of the peace that God has already paid for in Nagara. That's so can yeah. and so we raise the standard of the Holy Ghost against all forms of sicknesses and diseases. 
to the mind, to the body of any of our children. Make it say to Kariana. Some say, yeah, but my children are not sick. Well, we pray and we maintain the health that God has given them in the name of Jesus. Lebrondo Soto Brakasha Gamihe Dozona. Agree with me. Pray, pray, pray with me, somebody. Resi Palado Sakaila Badosa. Zipe Toto Toto Riba. Shato Toto Toto Riba Seke. Make it in the His Soto Riba Nanyana. Orebondo Soto Toto Toto. Make it in the Giada Sokeria. Shipere Doso Nege Shiga. Arriba Doso Toto Toto Riba. Ebre Nege Giada Doto Toto Toto. Ebre Nege Giada Doto Toto. Sekeria, Hingeri in the story, Araba de Seria, Ibadi that she gave very in the Soto. Are you there, somebody? In Lato Sotori, Siada, the Babu is a great host and effectual has been open to us, but there are many advantages. I think it's an advantage. So, all that God has opened to our children, Hate Kodebasata, Ibadi Sita, and Prebasura, Spadia do Seke, and Babu. Stand <laughs> We come again to of sickness and disease. We uprooted Jesus' head, that which my father has not planted, must be uprooted. We uprooted sickness, we uprooted disease, we uprooted cancer, we uprooted flu, we uprooted asthma, we uprooted high blood pressure, we uprooted in a destiny, we uprooted every because Christ the psalmist said, No evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come near thy dwelling. Ah, we say every evil of sickness or disease or infirmity are seeking to establish itself in the dwelling of our children, which is their bodies. Ah, today we eject it. Today we, we hand them their warrant of arrest and we enforce their, their, their complete removal from those bodies in the name of Jesus, I speak to the body of my sons. I speak to the body of my children, uh, of my daughters, and I command complete removal of any kind of 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 of. Uh, uh, 
evil. The Bible says Jesus went about doing good, healing all that were oppressed of the devil, every oppression of the devil against our children in their physical health, in their mental health. Today we stand against it the way Jesus stood against it. We stand against it as representatives of Jesus and we remove it forcefully. We remove it forcefully in the name of Jesus. We have come as the task force of the kingdom of God to destroy the yoke of sickness. The Bible says by the reason of the anointing, the yoke is destroyed. We destroy the yoke of sickness by the anointing of the Holy Ghost upon us. We destroy the yoke of sickness. Oh, mental sickness, physical sickness, physical disabilities. Oh, we remove you completely in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. And we command every body, all those bodies, we command the bodies of our children to be infused with the spirit life of God that raised Jesus from the dead. Hebrew das Zakaria, we command the replacement of every dead cell in Labadia Shatter with healing, hydrated, living cells. In the name of Jesus, we speak to their organs, we speak to their, to their tissues, to their mind. Hebrew das Zakaria, to their mental health, we speak the life of God. Hebrew das Zakabado Shanga, Hebrew des Kekeria. Oh, my heart goes out for those children that are dealing with terminal situ situ uh, health situations that have been called terminal. Libre de Sekeria. You know that in the books of the Lord Jesus, there's no such thing as terminal because even death was destroyed by reason of the anointing. And so we stand in the name of Jesus and we destroy the roots and the cause of every sickness and disease that is afflicting and harassing or oppressing any of our children. We overpower it by the blood of Jesus. Romans chapter 6, verse 14. He says, sin shall not lord it over you. Sin is the father or the parent of sickness. And so if sin will not lord it, Sickness will not lord it. We declare complete liberation and deliverance from sickness or disease of any kind, for any kind of violation of the bodies of our children in the name of Jesus. And while we are there, because we are speaking into the protection of their bodies, we come against every plan of the enemy to bring about accidental, accidental uh, uh, oppression, calamities, uh, any kind of uh, 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 oppression against their bodies. Libro do se que 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 vida. So anything that has come to cut short their lives or to reduce their quality of life, we, we stand upon the word of God and we declare no, we declare no. That's why the psalmist said, no evil will befall thee. So call that child by name and say, no evil will befall thee. You will not be a victim of accident, a victim of crime in the name of Jesus. Because Psalm, Psalm 91 verse 16 is true for you. It long life will I satisfy you and show you my salvation, brothers and sisters, as we bring our prayers to a close. I want you to begin to declare that my children will continue to enjoy long life, long, healthy, sound life. Come on, let's begin to thank the Lord as we bring our communion emblems to close up so that we can close and, and, and start the new meeting. Hallelujah. Commit yourself. Thank the Lord with me tonight. Maskedi Karabosada Roke Besheke in the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. Father, we thank you for the communion emblems. We thank you for the power of the communion. Jesus said, as often as you do this, do it in remembrance of me today. We remember the death, burial, resurrection, and ascension to glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says he's at the right hand of majesty, making intercession for us. Thank you, Father, because by, by partaking of the communion, we partake of all the benefits of the new covenant in the name 
of Jesus. We say everything that pertains to the new covenant becomes the, the living reality of our children in Jesus' precious, precious name. We have prayed. Amen and amen. Praise the Lord, somebody. This is the time when I'm going to stop this recording so that we can start the new session. If you have to go, really appreciate Thank you, Jesus.